Thank you. Well, that didn't take long, right? Uh, because just hours after some health care bragging, some Fallon railing. The White House uh, says it surpassed its goal for the people enrolled in Obamacare. It's amazing what you can achieve when you make something mandatory and find people if they don't do it and keep extending the deadline for months. It's just, it's like a Cinderella story. It's just a beautiful thing. If you still haven't enrolled, you might have to pay a penalty called the Individual Shared Responsibility Payment, which is 1% of your salary. Ooh. Then Americans said, hey, good thing I don't have a job. I mean, because then I would have to give my... Funny stuff, but forget whether the president should worry he just lost Jimmy Fallon. Maybe he should worry more. He could be losing the folks who watch Jimmy Fallon. You can tell us what you think and tweet us at Team Cavuto, and we'll show you responses later in the show to Ashley Pratt, who says the young are indeed getting restless, and she knows of what she speaks. She's young. All right, so Ashley, uh, is that resonating with folks? Yeah, I, it's so funny to me, Neil, because he really, really tried, and the White House really tried to reach out to those coveted millennials. You know, going on between two ferns, coming up with this pajama boy scheme as though young people want to be living in their parents' basements until they're 26 years old, but none of it worked. Young people did not willingly enroll in Obamacare. It was not popular with them. Jimmy Fallon, though, hits the nail right on the head every single time when he when he talks about Obamacare's unpopularity with young people especially and it the message resonates so good for Jimmy Fallon well you know he was joking and he has been very uh, cooperative and, and, and very nice to Michelle Obama working out with her and all the rest so I'm not sure he's necessarily you know turning his back on, on, on the president but I, I do notice that there is a theme to this here no matter how the administration has reached out with advertising and the like uh, via LeBron James all the way to Lady Gaga to get young people to sign up. It's really not done the trick. I mean, the percentages just aren't there. And, and it might be, as Michelle Obama says, that the young just feel indestructible and they feel no rush to sign up. It might be that they, they, they think the penalty is, is a small cost to pay if they don't sign up. But something's going on. What is it? Yeah, I was actually talking with a young person the other day. She's 26 years old, so she can no longer stay in her parents' plan. And she was actually looking for coverage on the ObamacareHealthCare.gov website. And when she was on there, it told her she did not qualify or because she essentially couldn't afford health care. So she is forced to pay this penalty. So young people, I think, here are really realizing now that if they're unemployed, they don't have a job, uh, they own their own business, they're really being affected because they're not able to purchase insurance and they're being told that they have to now pay this penalty. So when they're trying to cooperate, they're getting mixed messages from this administration and from healthcare.gov, quite frankly. So this, well, this woman a lot of them, was actually very here's the upset. Thing I, but of your generation, and I say this with great admiration, you're skeptical. And, and mm -hmm. a lot of you don't like the idea, the intrusive nature of this because I, a lot of young people tell me you know they were asking me all sorts of personal questions and then I, I in the light of NSA and all this other stuff hands off back off and I think that is a big factor as well what, what do you think oh yeah Neil uh, a young America's foundation poll showed that 48 percent of young people between the ages of 18 and 24 are very distrusting of big government and think that it's too big as hmm. opposed to only four percent who think that it's too small so that tells you right there that young people are losing confidence in the federal government's handling of programs especially after the rollout of Obamacare because we know how botched that was and when they try to you know pitch things like pajama boy what young person wants to end up as a government dependent mooch they don't they I want the, to be I, independent. I agree. Pajama boy turned everything I mean they were, they were making progress and pajama boy came in and came over. Oh, um, that was Ashley, horrible. You're the best. Thank you, young lady. I appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Ashley Pratt.